The Australian curriculum has three dimensions, learning areas, general capabilities, and cross-curriculum priorities. Of the three dimensions, the learning areas are the foundation of the Australian curriculum. They identify the essential content that teachers should teach and we want students to learn. The other two dimensions, the general capabilities and cross-curriculum priorities, are developed through the content of the learning area and aren't separate areas to be taught. These two dimensions offer opportunities to enrich and enhance the content of the learning areas. English, Mathematics, Science and Health and PE are single learning areas, while Languages, the Arts, Humanities and Social Sciences and Technologies learning areas include subjects. Each learning area has a similar format, which makes it easier for teachers when they are planning their teaching program. Each learning area begins with an introductory section, which has the rationale and aims giving overall intent of the learning area, a description of how the content is organised, the key connections with other learning areas, general capabilities and cross-curriculum priorities, and key considerations to enable teachers to create effective teaching and learning programs. The next section is curriculum content, which includes content descriptions that detail the essential knowledge, understanding and skills for students to learn, and the achievement standards that describe what students should typically demonstrate by the end of each year or band of years. These two parts of the curriculum are the core components that teachers will use to plan, teach and assess students' learning. Teachers can find additional guidance in the level descriptions, which provide an overview of the learning that students should experience at each year or band level. Finally, the curriculum includes content elaborations, which build on each content description. Though the elaborations are intended only as examples, they do contain valuable suggestions for teachers to use when they are delivering each content description. The connections between the learning areas and the other two dimensions, the general capabilities and cross-curriculum priorities, are explained in the content descriptions and content elaborations in each learning area. The general capabilities reflect the understanding and skills that students need to be confident and creative individuals, lifelong learners and active citizens. They are taught through the relevant learning areas. Therefore, in the introductory key connections section, there is specific guidance about the best fit between the learning area and the general capabilities. Not all general capabilities will be developed in every learning area. They will only be included in learning area content where they can be developed in authentic and meaningful ways. In some learning areas and subjects, general capabilities are developed in the content descriptions. For example, English is the principal learning area to develop the literacy required for all other learning areas. Mathematics develops the numeracy skills to support other learning areas and Digital Technologies develops the foundational skills and knowledge for the application of digital literacy across the curriculum. The cross-curriculum priorities that make up the third dimension of the Australian curriculum ensure that content is current and relevant. These priorities give students the chance to focus on content with regional, national and global significance. Each learning area's key connections section has advice on which cross-curriculum priorities have strong relationships. The priorities will be embedded into the content where they provide the most authentic and meaningful contexts to add depth to the learning area content. For example, the sustainability cross-curriculum priority is woven through science, the humanities and social sciences, and technologies curriculum, while the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander history and culture priority can be applied across all learning areas and subjects for a deeper understanding of Australia's history in the world's oldest living culture. This particular cross-curriculum priority also gives Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander students the opportunity to see themselves, their cultures and their identities reflected in what they're taught to drive deeper engagement in their learning. The Australian curriculum gives teachers a thorough understanding of the priorities and aspirations we hold for our young people. Together, the three dimensions set out the essential knowledge, understanding and skills for all young Australians to be able to learn, contribute and shape their world, now and into the future.